Hello, everybody. I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I thought we were going to have a little technical problem there. Um, my phone told me to rotate and it's like, nope, 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 that's not right. <laughs> at least the button was back in the place that it's supposed to be. Um, I think if you remember last week, my go live button, I couldn't find it any place. Finally found it, but it's back where it was supposed to be. I don't know what's going on. Hi, Kathy from Marshfield. Suzette Lewis, I'm happy to see you here. And Denise, everybody coming in. I hope you guys have had a fantastic week. Um, oh, I've had such a busy week as, as always, right? That it's, I'm like a broken record. I always say that. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Nancy Joe. Um, been a tremendously busy week again, but you know, summer's winding down and, um, what else? I had bingo last week. So I had, um, bingo packets, make and take packets to get out in the mail. Um, done. Then I also had the catalog kickoff and all of those packets were due in the mail. Done. Yay. <laughs> this week I have, um, our Christmas season. This beautiful, beautiful stamp set um, with the option to add on the sentiment set. We have an online class in that going out this week. So I, I usually make up extra. So if anybody's interested in that, you can find it on my blog, www.estampabub.com. But um, I got the Christmas season class. I'll be cutting for that this week and getting that out in the mail. And also, Pretty Pumpkins. Let's see if I can find the Pretty Pumpkins. Here's the Pretty Pumpkins, my kit class for the month. Oh my goodness, something for everybody. Now, that Christmas season online class has nine different card ideas. And it comes with a bunch of product. You also get six like Christmas tags and a little tag holder that's just adorable, all in the online class. There are three options for that one. You can buy the whole suite for $131, and you get the class for free as well as the make and take packet. Or you can buy the kit, which comes with um, ribbon and embellishments, I believe, and that's $45 with the nine make and takes and the tag and all the tags and the videos and the instructions. Or you can just buy the PDF on that one. Now, for the Pretty Pumpkin kit class, that is a kit, and it is only available as a kit. So this one is a kit, and I think it was $48.25. You get a whole bunch of product in there. All the details are on my blog, so make sure you check that out. Those will be going out this week, too. Holy cow. <laughs> I am excited. Um, on Monday, tomorrow, I'm going shopping with Haley and Val. Haley needs to get some new clothes. She's already started back teaching, but the kids aren't in school yet. And I think they start on Wednesday. So we're going to go shopping tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Little Miss Val tends to have a mind of her own as to what she wants to do and does not want to do. Oh my goodness, she's so funny. So if you guys saw the exciting news, Haley and Jared are expecting a little boy. We had a little reveal party. Hi, Haley. She's watching. We had a little reveal party Friday night. It was absolutely adorable. Um, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you can go watch it on my Facebook page. But Val popped these honeycomb shapes off of a board until she got to one that said boy on the back. And it was so cool. Haley and Jared are over the moon excited. Um, mostly because Haley, well, this will be her last child. <laughs> she's like, oh my Lord, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but she's going to do it. She'll, she's going to rock it. I just know it. So we are expecting a little boy and, um, that's going to be a lot of fun in our family. And I don't even know what to do with a boy because I'm kind of a girl mom, but I'll figure it out. Right. Everybody tells me, oh, little boys are so much fun. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. So, um, let's see what else is happening. John update. John has been gone all weekend. I'm not really quite sure where he is. He has some property up north and he also has a daughter that lives about mm, 
three hours from here. And um, Steve said he might be there helping her with a little remodeling. So, but um, John and I believe John's wife is also gone. That's all I know. So I hope they're having a wonderful time and I wish them safe travels. Um, what else? Did you guys see the announcement? Val was carrying a package. You know that Jared is a mailman. And so Haley's, Haley's um, comment under the picture was, I married the mailman and he delivers. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my gosh, I couldn't start. I couldn't stop laughing. So um, what else is happening? Let's see. Um, Steve is going on a golf trip. He goes up to the upper, upper Michigan on a golf trip every year and that starts this next week. So that's pretty exciting for him. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little exciting for me too <laughs> because I'm gonna be home alone. Ah! I know I probably shouldn't be telling people that, um, you know, like on the interwebs, but don't worry, I'm, I'm pretty protected here. <laughs> what else? Oh, one year Steve won the golf tournament. It's with a bunch of guys. They come in from um, Tennessee and some from Wisconsin, and they all get together and golf every year. And he was invited several years ago by my a high school friend of mine, and um, he's been going ever since. In the first year that he did it, he won the green jacket. They have an ugly green jacket and a great big ugly trophy that you have to bring back every year. So... It's pretty funny. I hope he wins again. He's been golfing quite a bit, um, working on his putt. Yeah. So what else? Um, I'm happy to report, most of you wouldn't know this, but my uncle was in the hospital this week. He was really sick. And so he got out and I'm so happy because, oh, not cool, right? Lots of people, lots of people sick right now. Also, um, oh, I have prizes to award. Yay! Before I go any further, I want to let you guys know that right now, if you're new, we have a celebration going on right now. And when you place a $50 order, you can choose items out of here for free. And they're fantastic items. Um, there are some items that require a $100 order to get free. We're going to be using some of the items tonight so you can get a little taste for them and learn a little bit more about them. But one of the cool things about our celebration, which lasts until the end of September, is that when you join my team of discount shoppers, or if you wanna build a business, I'm here to help you do that. But most of my team are discount shoppers. If you're a stamper, you should be getting a discount on all your products. By joining my team, you get to become part of something bigger that is a whole bunch of fun. And you get to choose um, a free bundle out of our holiday mini catalog, which is a fantastic promotion worth like around $60 extra. So our kit is $99. You get to choose $125 in any product you want. You don't, there's no, you have to take this, this, and this. You get to completely choose a customizable order and you get to choose a bundle on top of that. Plus you get a paper pumpkin kit and a 20% discount on all your future orders. And then based on what you do there, your discount goes up. So lots and lots of fun when you join my team. If you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to ask me. Um, I've never had anybody who was disappointed when they did it. So just know that it's a whole bunch of fun. All right. We have prizes to award. I'm super excited to do that. Um, let's see. First of all, there are three ways that you can win prizes with me. The first way is to comment. So if you're new to me, please leave some type of comment here. You can say where you're from, you can just say hello, but that'll enter you into a door prize drawing. And from last week's Facebook Live, I have some of these fantastic gems to give away. This is a half a pack, along with a package of our dimensionals. These are going out to Brenda Harrington of Ohio. Brenda, these are going to be on their way. And I'm pretty proud of myself because I actually have all my labels on my envelopes slided in in the mail tomorrow morning. Woo! I know I was killing it today, you guys. I was killing it. Next up, 
The other way that you can be entered to win fabulous prizes is by sharing this video and someplace on your screen right now is a little share button. Share that, just click on share, share it to your profile. This really helps me grow my business because you never know who among your friends on Facebook would love to see some videos, start a new hobby. Maybe they were a stamper, maybe they are a stamper, maybe they're not familiar with Stampin' Up. You never know what's happening there. But please feel free to share this video. I always appreciate that. We have, for sharing last week, the other half of the gems. And these are the genial gems, by the way. They're very, very pretty. They have little gold um, flecks in them. Yeah, they're, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Plus, I have the thanks and hello embossing folders. These are fantastic. There's two in here. One says thanks in all different languages. One says hello in all different languages. These are really fun. They fit in our mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. They also fit in the big machine, so don't worry about that. Going out to Lanny Rhodes of Florida tomorrow morning. Woo! Congratulations. Next up, the other way that you can win with me is by placing an order. So everybody who's placed an order between last week's Facebook Live and today um, gets entered in a drawing. And I have some beautiful ribbon. I also have some gorgeous sequins and the best chapter sentiment stamp set. This is going out to Melody Miller of Ohio. Congratulations to all of you guys. Now, hang on, I'm dropping things. Let me set these off to the side so I don't mix them up and don't make a mess or lose anything. Next up, we had a card challenge last week. If you guys remember, we made the Bay Window Fun Folds. That was what I showed you on my Facebook Live. And then I offered up a challenge to you and I said there would be a prize. And oh my goodness, I found a fantastic prize. Um, but everybody who entered a card, you just had to post a picture of your card that you made. Um, everybody that entered was put in a drawing to win this fabulous prize. I had over 43 photographs. So thank you guys so much for your participation because that's what makes it so much fun is to have so much and so many pretty cards to look at. Now, at about 8 o'clock tonight, I'll be posting um, the link to that challenge in case you can't find it. But all you have to do is go on to my Facebook page, a stamp above dash your creative coach and scroll down until you see a um, comic book challenge graphic. And then in the comments under that graphic are all the beautiful pictures of everybody that participated in the challenge. So without further delay, I have this fantastic package to give away. Um, this is, I can't remember what it's called. Hang on. Our metallic mesh ribbon. Beautiful. This is awesome for like Halloween. I like to use it for Halloween. I also like to use it for Christmas. Very pretty. I bet, I bet it would be really cool for weddings too. Anywho, we've got that. We've got adhesive backed sequins and the Friesen Fun Bundle. I found this in my closet. I have all kinds of things like that. You're going to get this stamp set. It's adorable. I did an online class with this last year. Now, you guys, this is retired, so just know that. Um, and the Friesen Friends dies to go with it. Plus, I'm going to give my online class. So you have all the goodies um, to make the cards. The only thing that I don't have is the designer series paper, but this is going to be a beautiful class. That is going out to our winner, Julie Shulky of Fremont, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Julie. I'm so excited for you. I just know that Julie is going to love this bundle. Um, I'm going to put this note right on my computer screen so I can't go any further when I get done tonight than to send her that online class. So um, I will have more challenges coming, you guys. I love to see what you're making, and it's just a great excuse to... Um, 
step outside maybe your comfort zone maybe fun folds aren't maybe they make you sweat a little bit <laughs> do fun folds make you sweat a little bit maybe they do so I, I love it when you guys step outside your comfort zone and try something new so thank you everybody for participating let me set that over here too okay who is a subscriber to my blog so there's a little, on the right-hand side, you can put your email address in there and subscribe to my blog. And when you do that, you get an email in your email inbox every time I add something to it. And did you guys see these beauties? Oh my gosh. I know it's backwards, but it says Mary and Bright. Aren't these gorgeous? These are my projects as part of the um, Totally Techniques design team that is a group of demonstrators all over the world. And um, it's my favorite blog hop to do every month. I love this group. What we did this month, our technique was watercoloring. And I do have a video tutorial on my blog that shows how I did this. I used a large acrylic block, ink pads, and a water spritzer to create these gorgeous backgrounds. And then this, these ornaments that are on here, they're made with our Bedazzling Designer Series paper. This is a specialty paper that is available. You get eight sheets in a pack for free with your $50 order. It's part of our celebration promotion. So I just kind of wanted to show these to you. I used the Bright Bobbles stamp set, gorgeous, 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 and also the Delicate Bobble dies. Do I still have, oh yeah, there's actually one die on here, or here. When I did the video, I didn't realize I was missing, let's do this, I was missing this die. I did not have it on my little template that I made up. Aren't these pretty? Yeah, all of those dies come in that pack, so. Wendy said, yes, this is her Christmas design. That made me so happy, Wendy. Thank you. That is quite an honor because I know Wendy is an exceptional stamper. So that made me feel like, oh, really good. Anywho, I just wanted to show those to you. I just thought they were so, so pretty. I love when I find or can make something that is like, whoa, right? <laughs> love those bright colors. Okay. I think that we are ready to turn the camera around. Um, let's see. Oh, I know. The other thing I want to tell you is I did some cooking today. Hmm. Yeah, let me mute that. Um, I don't cook often, but today I made lunch. Haley and Jared came over. Anna and her family were um, busy, so they couldn't come over today, but Haley and Jared and Val came over. And so I made corn on the cob, which was to die for delicious. We get it from the hillbilly sweet corn down the road. That's what he calls himself, the hillbilly sweet corn. And um, I made sweet corn and BLTs. And we got the tomatoes from Anna. Um, Molly and Scott, her dad, are growing a little garden in the backyard. So we got the tomatoes from them. We had watermelon. Um, I made chip dip, and that's what I wanted to tell you guys. If you would like a super easy chip dip recipe that all your friends and family are going to tell you you have to bring to every gathering, this is it. Are you ready? Get your pens and your papers ready to write this down. There's only three ingredients. It's super duper simple. You're going to take two blocks of cream cheese, eight ounces each. And I always make a double batch because you're gonna need it. You can half it if you want, but don't bother. <laughs> two blocks of cream cheese. Haley says it is the best dip and she's very picky. So um, two beef bouillon cubes, beef bouillon cubes, and a half a cup of water. Put your bouillon cubes in the water, throw it in the microwave, boil it till it dissolves, Soften your cream cheese, dump the mixture into your cream cheese, and hang on, I'm looking. Did you get the corn from the Third Street Diner? Yeah, the hillbilly corn, yes. I did, Mary. Um, and make sure, I use a mixer, right? Make sure that you kind of plunk it around a few times. Don't turn your mixer on because it'll fly everywhere. It's very liquidy with that 
beef bouillon broth in there, right? So don't do that. If you ever do that, you'll never do it again. Trust me. <laughs> Who's done that? Me. So mix it up, put it in the fridge. It is the best, the very best dip ever. Now, if you want to make it a little fancier, that doesn't get much easier, right? If you want to make it a little fancier, grate some real onion into it, but it is delightful. So there you have the dip. Two blocks of cream cheese, eight ounce each, half a cup of water, two beef bouillon cubes. If you want to half that, one block of cheese, one cube, quarter cup of water. That's it. So that was what we had for, oh, and I bought grapes. Oh, they were so good too. Um, grapes, grapes, corn, we had dip, we had BLTs, we had watermelon. Oh, and a cucumber salad. I didn't make that though, I bought it. A little, little cheap. But somebody made it, right? I got it at the deli. Somebody made it. So it was homemade by somebody. <laughs> Anyways, we had a wonderful little, um, uh, not really a cookout, because I kind of cooked everything ahead of time, just took it outside, and we all ate. It was wonderful. Floated around in the pool this afternoon. Val had a great time. Haley and Jared got to relax a little bit. So it was really cool. All right. Um, Mary said they have good corn. Good food besides corn. Yeah, I bought a cantaloupe, too, but we didn't cut that up yet, because we still have some, Mary. So I'm going to find myself here on Facebook. So I can flip this around and let's see if I know my password. There we go. Flip this around so I can see all of your comments. And we're going to go with, hang on, I'm getting there. Oops, I must be touching something. Good Lord. <laughs> Technology is hard sometimes. <laughs> there I am. Okay, here we go. Ready? Uh, watch this video on your TV. Enjoy it on a bigger screen. No, I think we're good right here. Thank you. I don't want to do that. All right. And here comes my comments. Okay, you guys, I'm going to set that right up in front of me. So hopefully let's get rid of that little thing too. I don't know what they keep putting all this crap on my screen. Am I allowed to say that? I know this is a family program, but it's so annoying, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Who's ready to see up? I told you guys we were gonna do a fun fold tonight, right? So, um, I got this fun fold. Um, I got this from a couple people. I hope I have the original here because you know I'm terrible at remembering who. But one thing I do know is Lisa Neeland, she is one of my team members. She made me a card um, using this fun fold for my birthday and it was gorgeous. And I didn't show it to you guys because I held it aside because I knew I wanted to show you how to make this and then I would show you the card. Well, guess what? Lisa, are you watching? I can't find it. I can't find the card any place. I don't know. I don't know what I did with it, but if I find it, I will definitely show everybody because it's beautiful and I'm really sorry. I, it's embarrassing that I can't find the card. All right, so um, I'm gonna pull out all my bits and pieces here. Let's see what I got so that we're ready to flip this around. Ooh, I'm getting a little hot. It's a hot flash time. Does anybody know what these stars are? It says stars are enabled, and I've received a bunch of them, but I don't know what that is, and I don't have time to investigate it. So if anybody wants to check out what the stars are on on um, Facebook and let me know, I would appreciate it because I have no clue. Oh, this isn't the card we want to make. Hang on. <laughs> I want to make one from scratch. Let's see, is this scratchy? Oh yeah, this is the one we're gonna make first. Then we'll make this one. I'm gonna show you all the deets. And then we'll do that one. Okay. All right, I'm going to flip my screen around, or flip my, yeah, camera around. And we're going to, oh, we're gonna use this. Ha! Ah, playful penguins with the penguin playmates paper. Oh, love it. So, so cute. Also the penguin punch. Oh, I found the card and Rhonda McGuire from Bernie, Missouri sent me a card like the one Lisa sent me also. I still have Rhonda's. Lisa, I'm sorry. I don't know where yours went, but again, it's embarrassing. We're just going to leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> Hang tight, you guys. 
Um, when? Oh, when is the new baby coming? The new baby, I think, is due on March 8th. I keep thinking it's March 5th. Haley, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's March 8th the new baby's coming. <gasps> I know, right? <laughs> and it's a boy. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going to flip our camera around. Hang tight. If I disconnect you, come back to me. Oops, hang on. I got it. This new phone um, gives me, like, the buttons are in a different place, so sometimes I click on it and it turns everything on. So sorry if that just made you sick. I'm also going to turn on my fan, you guys, so just hang tight. It's um, getting a little warm in here. Whew, that's better. And put my other glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. That's always helpful when you're stamping, right? Okay, who joined me last week for bingo? Yeah, bingo, super fun. We, we do a live card class on bingo. So I was just going to bring in my cards and show you. Um, with bingo is a make and take packet. So everybody got all the goodies to make these cards. Isn't this cute? Yeah. That glitter paper is just beautiful. And these fabulous little cute little stars. Love them. <gasps> Marilyn says that March 8th is her daughter's birthday. And then we have this beauty. This is the Strong of Heart stamp set. This is the stamp set that Stampin' Up! has um, where they donate $3 for every set sold to Heart Health. So that's pretty cool. Diana is asking, is he the first boy? No, actually, Steve has um, one, two, two, three grandchildren that are boys. And then two um, that are going to be stepchildren under Stephanie, two more boys. And then Anna has Molly and Andy. So, and then there's Val. So, yeah, fun, right? Anyways, isn't that pretty? Here's that glitter paper again. And this is the, the free celebration paper as well as this free with your $50 order called Beautifully Penned. And it's all black and white. Really cool, right? Um, and here's my envelope. Oh, I had an envelope with this one too. Where did that go? Huh. I don't know. It was here. Who knows? Anyways. Meh. Um, here's another card made. This was a fun fold. Again, with the black and white paper, free with a $50 order, and this beautiful strong of heart um, stamp set. Now, if you missed bingo, oh, Jewel, I'm so sorry you missed bingo. But if you miss bingo, you're going to find a link to it on my blog. So you can go there and I have a video showing how to make these cards. Oh, there's my envelope. I knew I had it out here, you guys. See, I'm not as crazy as I think I am. Isn't that cute with that moon and those bats? All right, then we made this with the peaceful cabin. And oh, so pretty. Everybody just loved the peaceful cabin. It is beautiful. And then we made this. This is a bridge span card. Are you ready? Are you ready? <gasps> hello and hello. Isn't that cool? Super easy card to make with the Peaceful Cabin bundle. And again, the black glitter paper. So in the bingo packet, everybody got a, I believe, quarter pack of the Designer Series paper, a half a pack of the black glitter paper, and, oh, the stars. And I think that was it. I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> that was a great pack of stuff with all the layers to make this. Suzette says she loves the cabin set. I know. People are losing their mind over this one, as well they should. Like this, the images are so real life. They're just so, so pretty. It's a beautiful, beautiful bundle. So thank you very much. <laughs> Kim says, OMG, I can't type today. Sometimes that happens, Kim. Don't worry. Okay, Penguin Place. This is adorable. We have a Penguin Punch that comes as a bundle. You can order this as a bundle. You can order it separately too. Um, and also then the Penguin Playmates Designer Series paper. This is free. It is a pack of 12 by 12 paper. You get two of each design and it's double-sided. So this is one page page three, two, three, four, five, six, two of each page, 12 by 12, free with your $50 order. So we are gonna be using this as well as the Penguin Place 
We're gonna be using pumpkin pie ink and just jade. And I'm gonna start pulling out my little pieces here. So I've got my envelope with some designer series paper. Aren't these just the cutest? This is just the cutest paper ever. And all of our bits and pieces. So hang on, here we go. Now, this card, this fun fold is really, really easy to make, okay? Just know that. But it's got a lot of pieces, which don't let that, don't let that um, scare you. It's super easy. Before I go any further, I'm looking here. Please make sure you click on that like. That really helps me out in the analytics on Facebook. And also, if you place an order under $50 with me, this is the host, I'm sorry, if you place an order under $150, this is the host code that I am using for this month. Please enter that where it says host code. That really helps me out. It allows me to be able to give away stuff. And then you can find my online ordering button at thestampabub.com. This host code is always on my blog. It's in the right-hand column and also at the bottom of every blog post. So before you go to the next post, you're gonna see the host code. All right, uh, dimensions, here we go. I am going to, here, I'm gonna set this up here so I have a platform to put my little dimensions on. We are going to be making a pinwheel card. So what I've got here, is four pieces of just jade cardstock. All of these are two and three quarters by four and a quarter. Super simple, right? Four pieces, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. Then I took and cut some designer series paper from this pattern. And you can pick what, you know, whatever you want. All of these, there's four of them. All of them are two and a half by four. Then, um, let me find my little embossing folder. Hang on, it's here. Is it in with my sheet? Yep, it's in with my sheet. Then, this is a really cool embossing folder. And what it does is it puts stars on half of your page and this plaid design on the other half. This is called the Star Cross Embossing Folder. It's new in our holiday mini catalog. I took four pieces of fresh freesia and I, oh, and these pieces, hang on, these pieces are one and three eighths, one and three eighths by four, four of them. I took these and I put them in the embossing folder like this because all I wanted was this plaid design. You could do the same thing with the stars, okay? So first thing we're gonna do here, and, I, and I've already done that, just so you, you can see that I've already done that. Okay, we're gonna start putting things together. Oh, we have one more piece. This piece is four and a half by four and a quarter. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of scoring here. I'm gonna bring in my trimmer. I'm gonna make sure that I've got that four and a half inch. Yep, this is the four and a half inch side of this paper up against my baseboard or whatever you wanna call it. I always can't remember what I call it, but it sounds good. What do you guys call this here? Yeah, that thing, up against that thing. Hang on, my hair keeps getting in my nose, tickling me. We're gonna score at one, two, three, and four. Okay, super duper easy, that's it. All right, now let's burnish those edges good. So I was bragging about what I made because I cooked today, yay, pat on the back. <laughs> what did you guys have for supper? What did everybody have for supper today? I just felt like our meal that we had today was like the ultimate summer meal, <laughs> you know, with the BLTs and all the, all the um, produce. Okay, now on this little tab, there's a half inch tab here. We are going to put tear and tape up against near the closest to the fold line. Okay, closest to the fold line. And this is going to create a little box 
or a tube or whatever you want to call it. There we go. Okay, so the easiest way to adhere this to this side is to simply fold it in half, okay? Don't try to hold it up like this and get it all whatever. Just fold it in half, stick it down. Now we have this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take tear and tape. You guys are gonna tell me what you had for supper while I put tear and tape on all four of these little tube sides, just like this. So, oh, chicken mole, is that what it is? Chicken mole and Mexican rice. Ooh, that sounds really good. What else did we have? Stuffed green peppers, Barbara. Oh, that sounds really good. With peppers from the garden. Oh my gosh, corn on the cob. Hi, Luann, glad you're here, better late than never. Salad, Deborah had salad. Oh, I forgot to give you guys an update. So you guys know that I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight before, well, I've only got a couple weeks left and I can't really tell you about it, but I will. Um, hang on, I gotta get some more tear and tape. Anyways, I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight, um, like 10 or 15 pounds and um, I'm down nine, eight to nine pounds. Yay, yay me, I was pretty excited. I went for my bike ride this morning, I saw four deer, and I gotta just keep on keeping on. But now Steve's leaving, and usually when Steve leaves, I like love to go grab takeout, <laughs> which we all know is like <laughs> death to a diet, right? <laughs> okay, so this is what we've got. Baked potato, what was that? Pork chops, baked potato, and something. I missed it. Baked potato and applesauce. Oh, my goodness. You guys are eating good. Loving it. Okay, we are going... Oh, I probably shouldn't be taking that off yet. Let's do this first. Uh, let me find my glue. Now, I am going to take each one of these, and I am going to adhere these two, the two and three quarter inch panels. So two and three quarters by four and a quarter, just jade, with the DSP is two and a half by four. And we're just gonna keep doing that. I haven't actually made this particular card yet, so <laughs> we're gonna wing it together, you guys. We're gonna wing it together. Hello, Leanne, happy to see you popping in here. Hi, Lisa. Lisa had corn steak, ribs, wings, and Mexican rice. Oh my good Lord, that sounds delightful too. I love ribs and wings. Oh, I love barbecue. Okay, so here we go. Oh my goodness, having some trouble here. Boom, boom, and boom, okay? This one we're gonna do a little stamping on. So let me grab I have a black ink pad out here in place. Let me, oh, here it is. I'm like, I thought I had one out here. Here comes a memento black ink pad. And I am going to stamp happy birthday right on the designer paper. Now, I specifically selected this designer series paper side because it's not so busy, right? And I knew I would be able to stamp on it, okay? So we're gonna do a little bit more decorating on this. Um, I need a piece of white scrap. I have this entire bin of white scraps that I just keep drawing from. So I'm gonna set that up here so I can use it. Okay, we are going to take our black glitter paper and we are going to punch out the bigger of the two penguin images, okay? And when we do that, we have this little cutie patootie. Now, we're going to take and punch out the other weird looking little penguin thing. And now we have this guy. Inside your penguin stamp set, we have some eyeballs, some feet, some bow ties, stars, hearts, dots, two different beaks, some horns, a hat, all these fun little goodies. Oh, we need, um, where did that white go? Do it just so. Good Lord, I keep having a hard time picking stuff up tonight. 
Um, I don't know what happened to that either. Uh, we're going to take our Just Jade and we are going to stamp the little hat just like that. Isn't that cute? Can you guys even see it? It's kind of far away there. The little hat. We're going to take pumpkin pie ink and we're going to stamp our little feet. And then we're going to take our memento black. These two dots are the eyeballs, okay? Oops, let's get this guy back here. So this is our penguin body. Stamp our little eyeballs. And then we're gonna take the beak. Oh, here's the beak, I've got the beak right here. I needed to keep that orange open. And we're gonna do, oops, I'm gonna get this hat off of here. There we go, perfect. Okay, so, isn't that cute? We've got all of that going on. Now we're gonna put this onto our glitter paper. I'm using some Seal Plus because I am adhering something to glitter paper, okay? And that's why I'm using the Seal Plus. Um, it's just a really good adhesive to use for this layer. Let's see if I can center this. There we go. <gasps> Look how cute that is, you guys. And look how sparkly my little penguin is. Okay, we're not done yet. We are going to punch out the little penguin feet. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Whew. And the other little penguin foot. Oh, I don't like that one. Hang on. I should have stamped it twice. There we go. Because I kind of nipped it with the, with this part of the punch over here. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, here comes our little, little feet. And I'm just going to add those with a little bit of glue. This little critter is so cute. Isn't he just adorable? Look at how cute he is. Okay, then, oops, hang on. I just threw this in my orange ink pad. I'm gonna find my snips and I'm going to just really easily cut out this little hat. And this is not hard. You cut the scarf out the same way if you wanted to put the scarf on but super duper simple. Okay, then let me think about this for a second. We are going to, I wanna put my little penguin right here. I think I got a little close to the bottom here, so let me trim this off, because I think I needed a bigger piece of that glitter paper than what I had. Okay, I'm going to add my little penguin right down here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the hat. And for the most part, that hat is getting glued to my designer series paper, not this glitter paper, because that won't glue that great. All right, now we're gonna put this on our Just Jade layer. Look at how stinking adorable that is. Isn't that cute? Okay, now, these four pieces, these were one and three eighths by four that we um, already embossed. We're gonna take these, make sure that your, your pieces are right side up here, you know, so my bears aren't upside down, they're all right side up. This guy's right side up. We're gonna turn these over and we are going to add this layer to the left side of the back of each one. Are you still with me, you guys? Or are you going like, oh my Lord, what is she doing? Hang with me, you're gonna love this. It is easy and cool, and you are going to dazzle your friends and family with this fun fold, I guarantee it. It's just so cool. Here we go. And 
Isn't that a pretty color combination too? I would have never put those together, but they're the colors that are um, recommended or used in the designer series paper. So that's where I pull my color combinations from right here. Just Jade and the Fresh Freesia. That's where I that's where I got the idea. Okay, so we have all of these now, right? Are you ready? We're ready. We're ready for assembly. Who is just can't hardly wait? <laughs> me, me, me. Okay, pull off your backing. We're gonna take this, we're gonna line this up with our fold line, okay? But I'm gonna lay it flat because it's just easier to handle. I'm gonna line that up and line that up so that it's right on the edge there, okay? And we are just, and then look what the back looks like. We're gonna keep doing that on all four sides. This is called a pinwheel card. And they are super easy and super fun. Here we go again, and wait until I show you. If you've not seen one of these yet, wait till I show you the end, because you're gonna be like, what? You're gonna be like, you gotta be kidding me. Here we go, here's the next one. This is our last panel. So there's four sides to our little tube, and we've got four little layers here. And of course, imagine the possibilities of putting different sentiments on each one or whatever, whatever the case may be. The sky's the limit. Ready? Look at that. Ah! I love this. So here's our little card. I'm going to write in here. Happy birthday. Here's one side. Here's one side. All those different, different little patterns going on there with the different little characters. You could do whatever you wanted here, but this is how I made mine. And I love this embossed layer in here. It's so, so pretty. Hang on, I'm looking to see. There we go, my messages left me. I don't, oh my goodness, I'm really far behind here. Oops, hang on. Oh, good grief. <gasps> Anne says she has yet to make one of these. Well, you just saw how simple that was. So. Let me get this cleaned up because I have more. I have so much more to share with you. Oh, don't forget, I want to decorate my envelopes so that I have an adorable, oh, and by the way, you guys, this folds flat and it fits right in the envelope, so you don't have to worry about that, okay? I didn't use dimensionals here. You probably could, but I didn't want it to get too darn thick with dimensionals, right? So just be mindful of that. But this is this would be worthy of a little padded envelope if you wanted to go crazy with it, I think. Right? Yeah. Okay. So this is two and a half by six. And I am just going to make a matching envelope for this stinking adorable card. And what I thought I would do with this card, this would make this particular pattern and whatever... This would make a great congratulations for a boy, baby boy. Uh, it's a great birthday card for a boy, and I wanted to kind of keep it a little boyish. This this guy looks boyish, right? And I thought, you know what I think I'm going to give Anna for Christmas? Um, my stepdaughter Anna, I think I'm going to make her up some children's cards, birthday cards, because Molly just went to a birthday party over the weekend, and I know that... Anna probably ran to the store and had to buy a card, and I'll just make up a set of birthday cards. Molly's 10, so I'll make up a set of birthday cards and give them to Anna for Christmas, so that'll save her a lot of hassle, right? Let's see how this fits. There we go. Ready to rock it, right? Now, there's all kinds of stamps in here, too, so... Let's do this little guy on the front. I love this little penguin that's laying down. I think he's just super, super duper cute. And I'm gonna stick him right on here. We're gonna go, we're gonna do this right on the envelope. Make sure I get this inked up really good. Ah, is he cute? Look how cute he is. All kinds of different little images in here. Um, then I need 
my orange. And we've got one, we've got a beak for our sideways penguin too. So, hang on, I don't wanna lose that. I hate setting down my stamps because I'm always afraid I'm gonna lose them. This is our chamois, by the way. This is how I clean all my stamps. It's a fantastic stamp cleaner. You see how simple and quick that is? Boom, done. Love it. Oh, look at that. Put that back on there. And did I wash that one? I think I did. Okay, so I am going to pull feet off and put this on the little beak. There we go. Okay, here's our little orange beak. I'm going to put this right on. <laughs> Look at how cute he is, right? And then where did our little foot go? That was a beak. That was a beak. Uh-oh, did I lose one? Nope, it's right here. Get it out. Okay, we're gonna put this guy right on here. Just like that, right? How cute, isn't that sweet? So there we go. Thank you guys for the share, I really appreciate it. Okay, um, oops, let me get these cleaned up too. So. For all the projects that I'm going to share with you tonight, you will find still photos, dimensions, and a complete ingredient shopping list on my blog. And again, right here's the address. So you can head right over there. Once I upload this video to YouTube, it'll have a link at the end of it that'll be like in the top corner of the screen that'll take you right to my blog post. So. And sometimes people don't know about those um, information that are under the videos. So when you're watching a video on YouTube, underneath the video is a whole bunch of information. It says, see more. Most people don't know that. You click on that, there's all kinds of links in there to my videos and my online store. And you can get information on joining my team. All kinds of stuff. Okay, I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to put this away now. I'll set this aside. We'll bring that back out at the end. Um, all the little bits and pieces. Here we go. Okay. Oh, this is my pinwheel card. Get that back in there too. Next up, this is the card I thought we were making next, but I was wrong. Okay. Don't forget this paper, free with the $50 order. Because now the stamp set and the dies that we're going to use are also free with the $50 order. Counting Sheep is a cute, adorable little stamp set. There's seven different stamps in here. And then we've got 10 different dies in the sheep dies. These go together, but $50 order, you can get this free. $50 order, you can get this free. So when you combine your order to $100, you can order both of these absolutely the cutest thing ever all right here's what we're gonna do I am going to share the bits and pieces we're not gonna go through doing the whole card again because I already showed you how to do a spinner card so I don't want to bore you to death with that but um, what we are gonna do is we're going to do a little bit of stamping here. I've got my Memento ink and I wanted to show you what you need for this next card. We've got this cute little sheep. We've got this cute little sheep. Now you can make birthday cards with this. You can make baby cards. You could, you could even make a get well card I think with these because they're super, super cute. You could make an all occasion card. Oh gosh, just the sky's the limit. Okay, we're gonna do all of those kind of things. And then we are going to, oh, this is where the fresh freesia ink was needed that I found on my desk and couldn't figure out why I had it. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you? Do this. And that's fresh freesia, so glad it's your birthday. And then we also need some little party hats. So we've got one, two, and three. So what I like to do is stamp up all my bits and pieces after, you know, when you figure out what you want to do for your card, you're going to stamp up all your bits and pieces. 
and then I've got my markers here. These are stamp and blend markers. They're fantastic because they're alcohol based and they don't leave scribble marks. You can do some really fancy schmancy things with them. What I'm going to do here is I am going to color in. This is the um, light fresh freesia. Now, when you buy these markers, they come in a combo pack. You get the light and the dark with them, so just know that. You're gonna get two markers, and I think they're $9 for two, I believe. Okay, so Fresh Freesia, and then we're going to use Light Misty Moonlight. And again, I've chosen these colors because this is what matches my designer series paper. I'm using the same paper, only different images or designs for this particular card. So I'm just coloring all those little polka dots. Then I've got light basic black and dark smoky slate. I like my little lambs to have dark ears and legs. I just think that they're just so adorable. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. Oh, my throat is really like parched. Okay, so we're gonna color all of these little buggers. And then with their hooves, I used the light basic black. And oops, I forgot one thing. I chose that because you can still kind of see through it. If you use the dark basic black, you're gonna cross off all the, any like hash lines or anything like that. Don't forget to do the sheep's face. You want to be very careful not to color in the sheep's eyes, okay? Because then it looks really cool when you leave them white. Look at how cool that is. Yay. Okay, so you're going to do all of your sheep like that. Then the other thing that I did is I took the um, fence die. You get all of these dies in here. They're just amazing. There's one to cut out each one of your little sheep. Yeah, this one's trying to get away from me. You've got two clouds, balloons, party hat, flag, sun, and this cool fence. So you're gonna die cut that out of crumb cake ink. And then what I did with this is I cut it in half. And I kind of looked at it and I'm like, what am I gonna do with that? What am, what am I gonna do with this? Like, what is that gonna be? Well, let me show you. <laughs> um, I also took my Stitch So Sweetly dies and I die cut this stitched rectangle for my sentiment, okay? Here comes all my little bits and pieces. We also used the designer paper and cut out a whole bunch of, die cut a whole bunch of balloons. So we've got this is going to be our little birthday sentiment. We've got all these balloons. Just keep cutting out balloons until you're sick of cutting out balloons. No, you won't get sick of it. But it's really pretty to use all the coordinating colors. And that's what I did here. Here's my little hats. You can die cut those. And then here are my clouds. Okay, so all of this is in these free dies. Then I did the exact same card as the penguin card, look at this. See these half fences? I put them right here like this. I didn't wanna fill up the whole thing with a fence. They don't, well, they almost fit perfectly, but I just wanted a little bit of fence, so I did this. So I glued on the panels. I used the same embossing folder over here on this white layer, the same designer series paper as the penguins but the other side of it, well, kind of, yeah, the other side, and put my little sheep on there. Here's the clouds, the party hat, the sheep, and here's the other half of the fence, the balloons, the clouds, the party hat, the sheep, and our sentiment with a whole bunch of balloons in there, and this gives me a room to write. So what do you guys think? Isn't that adorable? I thought this was super duper cute. Okay, hang tight. Whoops, hang on, I just put that in the wrong, in the wrong die envelope. 
because in between my shower <laughs> and when I came on here live, I decided that it wouldn't be right if we didn't have a Halloween card tonight because Halloween is coming. So I've got that to show you. Oops, am I frozen? Can you guys, am I still working here? Can you guys still see me? Okay, I see my um, my iPad is frozen. Hang on a second. All right. Hang on, I'm still experiencing some difficulties here. What is going on? I need to be able to see your comments, otherwise what would be the point? There we go, okay, I think we're good now. Good grief. All right, you guys ready for another card? This one is also going to be fairly quick because I have a lot of it together. We have the cute Halloween designer series paper. This is not free with a $50 order, you have to buy this. But it's only $11.50, and you get 12 sheets double-sided in 12 by 12. Then I've got Highland Heather Ink, the um, Cute Stars Adhesive Backed Sequins. I've got this adorable Halloween punch that punches out a pumpkin, a cat head, and a ghost. And the cutest Halloween stamp set. There are 25 different images in here. We've got spiders and skulls with this kind of a spooky face and a happy face and the skull, the outline and the bold image. We've got the ghost outline, bold image and the little ghosty face. We've got pumpkins with the same cat with the same cat faces, cat ears, little pumpkin jack lan um, jack, jack o lantern <laughs> faces, leaves, Candy corn, candy corn, and a bunch of sentiments. This is an adorable, adorable stamp set. Are we still streaming okay, you guys? I just want to make sure because my iPad is telling me funny things. Okay, good. Okay, everybody's saying okay here, okay here, okay. All right, so what I'm going to do here, where's my packet of deliciousness? I have designer series, whoops, whoops. Designer series paper. Um, I've already done my panels, okay? So again, two and three quarters on the orange. This is pumpkin pie, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. The designer paper is two and a half by four. And I'm gonna use this pattern and this pattern, and this pattern, and this pattern. Then I decided to use the glitter, the black glitter paper, okay? And so this is our one and three eighths by four, and I've got that on the back of each one of these. So I've already taken the liberty of doing that so you didn't have to wait for me to do it. The other thing that I wanted to do here was take the trick or treat sentiment and stamp that on some pumpkin pie. And then uh, I'm going to use the same rectangle die and I'm going to die cut that just like that. And again, that's from the stitched so sweetly. So I'm going to put this together. I've already put all my washi tape on this little square. Now, if anybody's tuning in late, please know that I showed everyone how to do this on my first card tonight. So as soon as we're done being live, you'll be able to watch the replay. And I'm going to, I took the backing off my tear and tape, and now I'm going to put my little panel here, and then we're gonna go to the next side. I feel like I'm turning the pages in a book. We're gonna go to the next book. 
Oh, you guys, my live video keeps getting interrupted on my iPad. I hope it's not happening. Oops, I don't want to peel that one off yet. Just peel off one panel at a time. Good grief. There we go. I can't get a hold of it. There we go. Okay. And we're going to take this, make sure everything's right side up. This is boo, 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 boo. Here goes that. And then we're going to do this one. What size is the tube? Um, the tube is four and a half by four and a quarter. And it's scored at one, two, three, and four on the four and a half inch side. So again, if you go back when we're done, you can fast forward to where I started making the first card and it'll give you all of the goodies, all the dimensions that I use. You can see exactly how I went about making it. So here comes our next panel. Now I'm alternating my black and white panels with my colored panels. So I've got color, black and white color, and now this last one is going to be black and white again. Yep. Whew. Everything's coming out pretty good. All right. Here we go. Look at how cool that is, you guys. Okay, now, again, I kind of wanted to, let's see. I wanted to use my punch here. So we're going to take this cute little Halloween punch and we're gonna punch out some of these elements. So I've got a cat head right here, and that punch fits on here. You can also stamp your cat head, right? You can stamp it. You've got the face, the ears, double two-step stamping. You could do that, but I've got this paper here, so I'm going to take advantage of it. Then I want to punch out this little ghost. Here's a ghost. So we've got a cat and a ghost. Look at the back of this. This pumpkin is adorable, right? And it's just a scrap. All right, what else do we have? We can do another pumpkin. Oops, let me get that out of there. Um, let's see if we can get this little pumpkin in here. Oops, hang on trying to get it lined up. That one is a little too close to the bottom of the paper, so I'm gonna move up a little bit. And I'm gonna see what I need to do here. I need to, does anybody see my scissors right here? I need to trim this little cat out of here. There we go. <laughs> this is where your, it comes in great for your scraps, right? This is a great way to use up your little scraps is to watch and make sure that it'll go in the punch. Okay, here comes, look at how cute our little pumpkin is. All right, so we've got all these little cutie patooties. Here comes another, I want another ghost, I think. Well, I already got that ghost, let's see. Let's see what else I have here. We got the spooky head. Oh, look at how cute this one is. That really fluffy one. I think I want one of those too. And we don't have a punch for that one, but look at how easy this is to cut out. And again, you can stamp all of this or you can punch it from your designer paper. Completely up to you. All these little elements make up the cutest stuff. There we go. Okay, so I think we're good. Now we're ready to do some things here. I decided I wanted to put my trick or treat on one of these panels that's dark because I just thought that would look best. So here we go kind of put it up here. Where did my stars go? Right here. here. Comes our stars. This is a take your pick tool. I love, love, love this tool. 
I use it, you saw me picking the backing off of the tear and tape. And I am just going to put all these stars on here and then it kind of is like flashy too. And then I'm thinking, let's see, which one do we wanna do? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at that chubby little ghost. There we go, cutie patootie, right? And then how about our pumpkin? And I think we'll do two pumpkins maybe on this one. Mm, I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm thinking maybe not two pumpkins. Let's put one pumpkin right down here. And then we'll do a ghost right on here. I kind of like putting them down here in this corner. I don't know why. It just came to me that maybe that's what I should be doing. And then how about... I don't think I'm going to use that pumpkin for this card. We'll put a little cat right down here. Okay, so you could completely decorate this up a lot more. But I just wanted to show you how cute those punches are with the designer paper. Now, I've got an envelope here, and I'm going to use this paper to decorate my envelope. Again, this piece is two and a half by six, and I love making my envelopes match my cards. I could have used the other side too, the booze. That's really um, attractive. gosh you guys super duper duper cute and again this fits into the envelope no problem now the other thing that I wanted to do I've got ghosts I've got ghosts back here but I wanted to do a ghost on the front so we're going to take the solid image and I'm going to do a little ghost with Highland Heather then I'm going to take my Memento, sorry, I just bumped into my camera. I need to get over top of this so I can see what's going on here. There we go, there's that. And then we have this adorable little face with the little ghost hands. Who knew? <gasps> Look at how cute that is, right? Oh my gosh, super, super cute. So, here we go. Here's our, this is called a pinwheel card. It looks like this from the top and it just keeps going around. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And it lays flat to fit inside the envelope. So you got a win-win there. Then we have the sheep using the penguin paper. Again, all the fancy little die cuts. We use that, um, what was that called? The criss, uh, crisscross? Oh, I can't find my sheet now. Embossing folder. Oh, here it is. Star crossed. Star crossed embossing folder to do the edges right here. Isn't that sweet? And then here's my matching envelope. You move all this stuff out of the way. You guys like the way I just kind of clear everything out? Just like. <sighs> Here is our little penguin pinwheel card. And I use the paper to do all the decorating except right here. And here is our matching envelope with that. What do you guys think? Super cute, right? I don't know what's happening to my um, my comments over here. Oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you. So remember, Penguin Playmates is free with your $50 order until the end of September or while supplies last. This card and this card are made with this 
paper. And then the sheep stamp set and dies are free with a $50 order. So lots of great celebration ideas here for you tonight. I always appreciate your orders, you guys. It's what keeps all these free videos coming and pays my bills. This is my full-time job and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. Now, I have, um, I have some um, mail to share with you. So if you would like to see the beautiful cards that I received in the mail this week, hang tight. I'll be right back. Let me grab my beautiful mail. All right, this comes to me from Sherry Mullinex. Look at how pretty that is. I love this layout. It's very simple, but it's crisp and clean. And Sherry is thanking me for the gift of mini dimensionals and some sequins. Um, July's game night or bingo, cards and bingo. It, she was a consolation winner. So she's sending me a thank you card for those. Then, let's see, let's put the envelope over here. We have Susan Hine. Ooh, Susan made one of my bay window cards and sent me some pretty stickers. But look at this. This is the challenge that I had from last week, that bay window card. Look how pretty that is. Thank you for teaching the bay window card. Here is my first try. You did fantastic, Susan. Look at how pretty that is. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. Thank you so much. Then we have this little beauty, <gasps> little pocket in here. And it says, Kelly, thank you so much for the package of paper lattice I won for commenting. They'll be fun to use. Look forward to watching you create beautiful things every Sunday. This is from Kathy Larson. I know Kathy is on here tonight. Woohoo! Next up, we have Sarah. Thibodeau, I know I probably said that wrong, but um, I showed this um, at Cards and Bingo because this is the idea that I used to make this card with the Peaceful Cabin, okay? So this is Sarah's card. Look at how pretty, right? And Sarah said, thank you for helping me sign up to be a discount shopper, making a list for my very first order. Thanks for all you do. Sarah, I'm so glad you joined my team. Look at how pretty that is. This is where I got the idea from. Like I opened her card and that day I was working on um, bingo, cards and bingo. And I went, oh, we have to make something with this. And that's when I went, oh, this'll work. So see, that's where these kind of ideas come from. It's kind of crazy, but that's how it works. Last but not least, we have Becky Busca. And hang tight here. Oh, Becky made one of the cards. Here's another spinner card, or um, pinwheel card, you guys. Look at how pretty this is. Sh look at, just gorgeous. See, she did a lot more to hers. And I love it. Becky, this is so pretty. Holy cow. Um, it says, just a quick note to thank you for the bundle I won at a recent team meeting. You guys, when you join my team as a discount shopper, we have a team meeting once a month and it's via Zoom. So no matter where you live in the United States, you can attend just like you're watching me tonight. You can watch me on a Zoom, but we have demonstrations. We have, um, door prizes I send out every month. We have just so much fun. Mystery stamping. It's a blast. So anyways, she said, also for all the inspiration you provide from being on your team, the summer's going so fast, hope that the rest of it goes well for you. Um, never knew grandkids would be so much fun. We will add number five in March. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Yeah, I didn't really know either. Not gonna lie. Thank you so much, Becky. This is just a labor of love and it is so beautiful. Look at all the different elements, you guys. She did some paper piecing on here. Oh, so pretty, Becky. 
All right, you guys, did anybody have any questions that I did not answer because my uh, commenting went away for a while? I'm really sorry. I hate it when that happens. I gotta put these up on my on my mantle. <laughs> any questions that I might have missed? I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Now that brings me to the next thing. I think next weekend is Labor Day weekend and I am thinking I will not be live Labor Day weekend. And um, the reason is, is we're going to go to, I think we're going to go to my husband's high school friend. We're going to go to his cabin for um, the Labor Day weekend. So I'm, I'm thinking if anything changes, like I'll let you know. But at this point, it's Labor Day weekend next weekend. I don't think I will be live. If I am, you'll know. Watch. <laughs> okay. Um, this is my host code for the month. Thank you so much for your orders. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, so Kim says, Kelly, the stars are like tips. You can cash them in. Thank you so much for telling me that, Kim. That's awesome. I will have to look into that. I want you guys all to have a wonderful holiday weekend. Stay safe. Do something fun. Um, even if it's just watching a movie with a bowl of greasy buttered popcorn, I might do that. Maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to lose the weight, right? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for spending your Sunday evening with me. You don't know how much it means to me. I absolutely adore doing this with you. I hope you'll try the spinner card, or I keep calling it a spinner card, the uh, pinwheel card. These are really fun and easy. I will be posting all of the dimensions I have right here. I will be posting all of these dimensions on my blog. If you're watching later on YouTube, please share this video. That really does help me out and I appreciate it. But you're going to find a link later on YouTube right up here that's going to take you right to the blog post with pictures and ingredients. You can find out all the ink colors I used and the names of the products in case you would like to order some of them. You're going to find it all on my blog. Have yourselves a wonderful week. I if I don't, I don't think I'm going to see you next weekend, so please be safe. Um, enjoy your holiday weekend, and I will be back mm, the next weekend. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.